Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. We are going to, uh, I just actually posted a video minutes ago, the one previous, this one, uh, sharing a couple more pages we decorated in my shabby uh, journal. And then I shared also uh, about this Took's craft table design Christmas kit that I want, design team Christmas kit that I want to make for for her, uh, just to advertise her beautiful artistic talents. And I thought I would do a um, file folder craft and I wasn't sure exactly, but when I posted the last video, I thought let's take out some already well used up file folders. And now we're gonna just construct something. I really don't know yet what. I thought I'm gonna be uh, show some bravery and turn on the camera. As you know, I don't do a lot of these types of things on camera, so decided this one's going to be the one that I do with you. So I thought, well, I don't know. What I do know is I want to cut off this jagged piece here. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I did draw a line. I don't know if it's perfectly straight. I don't think it is actually. But I'm just going to use my scissors and cut this off. A lot of glare today, so I'm going to make this a bit challenging. This, this file folder is um, a little bit glary too, so it should be interesting. Okay, so now that we have this gimped out file folder, let's see what we can do. Um, I don't know what I want to do with this one yet, so... Maybe, okay, let's, let's see. Let's fold this over. Hmm. Let me think, let me think here. Um, <laughs> what to do? out loud. Well, I think this is going to be the front. So if it's going to be the front, I do want to lose, I want to lose some of the excess bulging out. So I'm going to fold it so it's Hold it so it's flat against here. Okay, let's try that. We want to fold it straight. So now I'm going to cut along here. Now this isn't going to be perfectly straight as you can see, although I'd like to try, but I mean it is junk journaling. So just broken in. Cool. Okay, um yeah, okay, I'm gonna just cut this here. So bear with me, you guys. <laughs> This is not a pre-planned craft. I 
and I don't particularly like the glare I'm seeing, but we're just going to have to go with it. Okay, so we've got something here. We've got the front that flips down, and then it opens up. But we also have to utilize this piece. And of course, I always end up making a lot of work for myself because this will end up being a flippy floppy roux um, that I'm going to have to decorate, which will add a lot of work. But you know what? That's okay. It's going to be fun. I got these from the thrift store. So I don't know who you are, Catherine, but you're going on this project. I don't generally need to pick up file folders because my husband has zillions that I get from him. But here we are. Okay, let's see. I'm going to turn it over. So let's see what we've got. We've got the front cover that will flip down. And then this will flip over like this and this will be attached I think or do I want this to go on the front somehow maybe I'll cut yeah I, maybe this should be the back it is a bit firmer, so let's leave that at the back. I'm going to cut off some height. I'm just going to go off camera so I can cut these lines without the glare here. Okay. Let's use the paper cutter. So I'm going to cut right where that line is. I mean, there are a million and one ways to to um, use a file folder. And I rarely do the same project twice, so this should be interesting to see what happens here. I'm just going to cut off a bit at the bottom. Okay, let's see. So I think probably what I'm going to do yeah that's probably what I'm going to do but I've got to get this line straight okay so one more cut here <clears throat> So you see how we have different heights? These are going to be various types of pockets. But what I'm going to do with the top layer here is we're going to round the corners. And 
and I think this is gonna oh I know what I'm gonna put here okay let's do this right here I'm going to use my circle punch and I'm going to make a, a, a thumb tap right here, right down the middle here. And I'm also going to round. This has a little bit of a rounded edge so I'm going to do that again here but not the big one yeah the big one okay let's see so I don't know if you can see this because you know how you'll see this let's do let's do some inking just because it will um I'm going to add some of this ink refresher on this pad that's way too old but I continue to get something out of it so I'm going to keep on using it it's going to go on a little bit wet but that's okay all I want is to highlight these edges so that it's going to make it easier to see what I'm doing here so that's going to lay like that and we're going to just along here this is going to be fun I have no idea what what it will look like in the end but I think it's probably going to turn out okay we shall see okay I'm not going to ink the whole thing I just want to get it a little bit inked up so you can see what I'm doing and I think what I'm going to do is make this corner round as well okay I like how it's staggered I made a similar one I think now that I'm looking at this I think I made a bee a bee a one that is like a was a bee uh, project Do I want to punch? You know what? Let's change up the punch. Let's. Okay, I'm going to use my smaller circle punch and I'm going to punch two. Just because. One. About like that. Maybe a little deeper. Is it the same here? Maybe a little tiny deep, bit deeper. Try to get these the same, hey? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to keep these because I always use them. But I'm going to ink those two little circle cut punch outs. And then kind of, you know, once I've, once I'm happy with the original construction of it, then I start adding this, that, and the other thing. For now, so I want this to be a pocket. I want this to be a pocket <clears throat> and this one. But then when I open it up, I'm going to sew in an entire signature right along here. And we, sh we will embellish up the rest of the construction so let's do some gluing or do I want to use my sewing machine but I can't do that on camera I don't have a, a hook up near my desk for the for the sewing machine to be used but it would be a shame if I don't oh well we're just we're just not going to do it today so now I'm going to just glue along the outer edges because don't forget I want to keep it as a pocket <clears throat> okay down we 
front go. And I want to leave it a little bit higher than the bottom of the project here, just because I like the layers. I like the look. Okay. I want to leave myself the option. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with this flap. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to cut these circles off in the end, so I, I'm not sure yet. So I just want to get the basic construction of this down in case some of you are wanting to um, make your own. This hopefully gets you inspired. And then the next video will be a little more detailed as to how I'm going to use it as far as what's going to get glued, what's not. Okay. So this, let's see. So let's just, so here's a pocket, here's a pocket, here is a pocket. Um, yeah, so, you know what would look cute as well? If, um, and of course you can continue the pockets. So for example, um, Maybe this little guy is going to go right there. Oh, look where he's popping out at the top. See, this is where you, now I have to think about what I'm going to do. I don't, I don't know quite yet. Do I want maybe one of these pages to be at the front? Or maybe this for the background behind it. That would look kind of cute. So I'm going to do that. Let's let's just start ruler pairing. Okay. So this is where I'm not going to use any measuring. Um, I didn't cut the borders off these beforehand, so we're going to have to tear. Maybe get a little bit of this decorated and then we'll call it a video and we'll do some more maybe tomorrow. I do have my grandson this weekend for Friday overnight and then my other grandson Colin has a birthday party on Sunday so it's going to be a bit of a busy weekend so I don't know when I'll get Tomorrow we should probably be able to get to this video. So now I'm going to round the edges here. And I find, I find that my punch works better when I'm punching just, you know, regular copy paper, the, the lightweight computer paper. I like to back onto some cardstock. Otherwise, my punch never goes all the way through. Oops. Okay. It's a little bit wide, so let's take let's take some off here. Just a smidgen. shows through so that's perfect now I don't technically need this entire piece because you won't see it hmm I'm not sure yet so I won't I won't cut it down I do want to leave myself the option to play with this front flap yet 
Okay, so that's going to go down there. I'm just going to glue it down now. Once I get a couple of um, pieces of paper down, it really inspires me. It's the beginning of how it all comes together, hey? Okay, now, get this glued down. straight up here. Straighter anyway. Okay, so there. So that's that's down. We've got something down. Now what do I want? I'm not sure I'm liking this punch here. I might just Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do you guys? I'm gonna tear this. I don't like that. I'm not sure why I did that. So, looks straight enough to me. Give it a little cut here. Okay. So, that's better. I like that better. put on the very front and it's probably going to get glued down maybe what I want to do is one one punch one thing can I get it in the middle to match the one above it doesn't have to I guess Let's get an image down before I do the thumb punch. I do like this little guy, but... Okay, let's see. I can see here. I want to get his head on there, of course, but I'm going to end up having to... to this sweet little girl off so let's let's already hmm. let me just make a pencil mark here okay this is where I need to just tear it down in there so that's okay okay and now I'm going to fold upwards my scissors to round this piece here.
Okay, I like that. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of ink, ink it up a bit. And I'm gonna glue it down. the trim like I like the file folder trim peeking out okay down you go boy I do think it's going to be glued. So let's just, let's just do it. No point in prolonging the inevitable because I'm sure I would want it to be a pocket. Now, this piece, this is where these come in handy for me. That just sort of brings brings it together this way. So I'm going to highlight it with some ink. It's covering up a little bit of the boy and his letter to Santa, but that's okay. little layer look added something um, so because I was doing this on on video with you um, and I didn't really have a plan if you want to make life easier for yourself before you glue what you're doing like your pockets and whatnot you might have wanted to put some paper down here first but I didn't do that because yeah I wanted to do it on video with you guys and I didn't know what I was putting there so I don't think I want that just have to decide oh I know let's take some script mm. Maybe for today, this is enough. I want to have some of the birdies peeking up. Or maybe. Yeah, this is where I will probably end the video. And, and the next video we do, I'll have a little bit more of a plan. Plan in mind so that. We're not doing this part of the video without me knowing what I'm going to do. So I think that's what we'll do. So for now, guys, I'm just I'm glad you if you're if you're still here and you stuck by. Thank you so much. If you feel inspired to grab your file folders, then do so, and we'll have some fun. Hopefully, as this develops and grows and becomes something crazy, I'm sure. I'm already thinking thinking through some things. Maybe this is going to be the front and you open it up and there's multiple pockets on the inside. So I don't know. It's it's very much in the beginning stages. And that's welcome to my crafty world. This is how I create. It's you rarely with a plan. So with that, you guys, I will say goodbye and we will see you very soon. Take care.